There are many miscellaneous items in Fallout New Vegas that are just random clutter. Some of them, like the hammer and wrench, seem like they could have been weapons. The mod Misc Items uses weapons makes just that possible. One of the objects turned into a weapon is a spatula, so I thought it would be funny to ask, can you beat Fallout New Vegas with only a spatula? Another gimmick I have for this run is that I will try to make it Spongebob themed. I named my character and tried to make him yellow in the character creator. Since Spongebob is so canonically weak, I decided to put my strength to only just two. Fantastic for a melee only run. I drained Perception because he is terrible at boating, and went with 9 Endurance because as a sponge he can absorb hits. For the other stats I just did whatever. For skills, I chose Barter because Spongebob shops at the Bargain Mart, melee weapons for obvious reasons, and unarmed because he knows Karate. Skilled and good natured for traits. After leaving Doc Mitchell's house, I head straight to Chet and sell the weapons I picked up. He luckily has a spatula in stock, and it's a whopping three caps. I buy it and set off on our journey. Plankton left us for dead and stole the Krabby Patty secret formula, so we have to find where he went. We heard word he went to Prim, so we head that way. A guy named Barton Thorne said his girlfriend is being held hostage by some geckos, so we go up and try to save her. Victor actually shows up and helps us with them. Barton's girlfriend is, big surprise, not real, and he turns on us. Victor watches as we smash his head in. After that, I went past Prim and killed some ghouls that were just as yellow as me. I turned a bunch of ants into Krabby Patty meat and went back to Prim. The convicts are actually kind of tough because they shoot at me while I'm trying to close the gap. Who knew guns were more effective as weapons than spatulas? I kept getting killed in the Bison Steve, so I bought stim packs from Chet and went to the Mojave Outpost. Since the spatula is so low value, it's really cheap to repair, so we shouldn't have any problems with that for this playthrough. I also picked up the quest from Jackson and Ghost. I killed the ants and got some better armor from some jackals. So I went back to Prim more prepared and beat the convicts pretty easily. I freed Deputy Beagle, but once we got outside a random convict killed him. That's funny. I put the NCR in charge of Prim and started to go towards Nipton. I killed some more jackals and got interrupted by Thomas in the middle of a fight. I talked to Volpus and turned in quests at the outpost and now it's off to Novak. In the prospector's den I found one of those karate helmets Spongebob wears, so I'm gonna wear that for the rest of the playthrough. I got obliterated by the vipers outside of Novak. I'm using the venomous vipers mod which is really cool. It's like the jackal mod I used that makes them more like they originally were in the lore. Now they used poisoned weapons and bows and arrows. I asked for just this mod in my video doing the cowboy run. Check it out if you haven't seen it. I had a fun time with that one. Would have been cool if this mod was out for that video. Would have been thematic. But it's cool someone made it. I'll link it in the description. I avoided the vipers and killed a gecko, leveling up to 6 and taking the toughness perk. When I got to Novak, I was low on health, so I bought the hotel room, which I never do. I usually have tons of healing items that I rely on, but this time I'm using so many in fights. Manny Vargas knows where Plankton went, but he won't tell us until we get rid of the ghouls at Revcon. Jason Bright wants us to clear out the Nightkin, so I go down into the basement and check on Harlan's dead girl. I killed three Nightkin, which is apparently few enough to not make Davison mad. I get them to leave, and now the ghouls go down to the launch area. I do their other errands and send them into space, finishing the quest. Now we have to go to Boulder City, because that's where Plankton went next. Jessup told us he went to the strip, and we level up to 8, getting the second rank of the toughness perk. I didn't have the speech to convince him to surrender, so I just left. Once I get to the strip, I head to the Krusty Krab, and Mr. Krabs wants us to go to the Chum Bucket to get the formula back from Plankton. He says he'll meet with us, but it was actually a trick. He ran off to Caesar's territory and got captured by the Legion. The walk there wasn't too eventful. Caesar said we can choose the way Plankton dies. I don't think the cartoon YouTubers would be very happy with this episode. So I just let him be and went to the bunker. Fighting the turrets in here with a melee weapon sucks because they explode when you destroy them. They also do a lot of damage with their lasers, so I spammed a lot of stim packs. I forgot about Kim's for some reason. I upgraded the Securitrons and went back to watch the demonstration. I was doing this weird floaty thing in there. When I reloaded a save after coming back to play, my character did this little dance thing. 
Next up is the Boomers. Before going to them, I fought some Vipers, and one of them had a bow worth over 100,000 caps. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. For once, I can actually take care of the ants without worrying about them exploding. I then listened to Pete's story and borrowed some missiles, which is fine because I gave them back after. I got to liked, and this triggered the progression of the quest. I seriously don't understand why sometimes I need liked and sometimes I need idolized. I raised the bomber, and now it's time for the Omeritas. I read Pachinko's journal and went up to deal with Clandon. I was going to steal his tapes, but he became hostile before I tried. Maybe because I drew my weapon? He must recognize the power of the spatula. Usually you have to do stuff for Troik next, but for some reason it just lets me skip that part of the quest. We killed the bosses, and now Mr. Krabs wants us to do the same to the Brotherhood. But I'm actually going to start their quest. I smashed the radio, and now we have to find the three dead paladins. One is by Nellis, which is easy to get. The next one is in the Repcon building, which would have been simple if I wasn't jumped by some Omerta thugs while I was in there. I beat them and went to the third paladin that's in Moe's crater. There are actually two in there, and I didn't notice the one with the holotape at first. Next is the three Brotherhood scouts. I got attacked by Legion assassins on the way to the one by Nipton. I couldn't beat them because they were down in the canyon, and they just shot at me while I advanced. I went to the Gunrunners and bought some Mark II combat armor and went back. They weren't there anymore, so I proceeded to talk to the guy. The next one is by Forlorn Hope, so I fast traveled to Nipton. The Legion were hostile, so I decided to free the trooper hostages there and in the t cup mine. On the way to the third scout, I saw an unrelated Brotherhood NPC trying to figure out how to walk around a signpost. The next part of the quest is to go to the three vaults. The first one I tried to go to was the Fiend Vault, and I just could not kill the fiends outside. There were way too many of them, and they would just shoot me to death. So since I hate doing this part of the quest anyway, I decided to abandon it. I went back to the Brotherhood base, and pickpocketed the key cards, procked the stealth boy, and set the bunker to explode. I snuck out and returned to Mr. Krabs. Now he wants us to save the NCR president, but first I'm going to do Beyond the Beef. It seems like a fitting quest. I talked to Heck, Marjorie, and Mortimer, and went to the detective's room. He was killed by some white gloves, and they attacked us. Luckily, the spatula is a holdout weapon, so I easily dispatched them. They finally found someone with a weapon on the same level as theirs. I talked to Chauncey, and it turns out they're making Krabby Patties out of people. We have to put a stop to this, so I went down into the basement and locked the chef in the freezer. I used a Mintats and cooked up a normal patty and called the waiter to serve it but when he came down, he was hostile. I thought maybe it was because I locked a chef in the freezer, but I tried it again without doing that and he was still hostile. So what I did was cook the food, call the waiter, and then hide in the other room while he took it. That worked for some reason. Once he was gone, I took Ted to the members only section and got attacked by all the white gloves. Apparently you have to hide while Mortimer finishes his speech and then talk to him, and after that they all won't be hostile. I finished the quest by talking to Heck and head off to save the NCR president. I don't have high enough repair or explosives to deactivate the bomb, so I pickpocketed the thing from the fake engineer. After sending the president off, that was enough to keep it from exploding, so that's good. I don't know how that works. I used a stealth boy to install the override chip, and went to the outpost to repair my spatula, and now it's time for the dam. The melee legion weren't a big deal, but I could not advance on the ones with high-powered rifles. I ran past them and let the Securitrons deal with them. I got to the Legate and persuaded him to fight one on one, but some goons still attacked me during the fight for some reason. So I killed all the ones before him and tried again. Even with Jet and Medex I couldn't beat him. He would knock me down and coup de grace me. So I used a meeting people and persuaded him to back down. I could have beaten him if I leveled up more and got the Stonewall on other melee perks, but I didn't want to grind up. Also, I think Spongebob would opt to resolve the situation peacefully if he could. I booked it over to Oliver so my magazine wouldn't wear off, and persuaded him to surrender too. With that, I beat Fallout New Vegas with only a spatula. Would I recommend this challenge? Eh, only if you're willing to grind up, unlike me. Super Slam would be really fun to use, but I didn't get to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future challenges, feel free to comment them below.